We've all felt those feelings. We're talking about shame, grief, and fear. And when you feel those, all you really want to do is turn those feelings on their head. Our next guest wrote a book on how to do just that. Here to open the pages is author and fundraising consultant Linda Smith. Linda, Linda great to see you again. It's great to be here. Oh. Back in your studio. It's old stomping grounds for I me. Know, That's right. If great you've been to a fan you. of the show throughout the years, you know her from Opportunity Village. Mm -hmm. And now you've really stepped aside to help put together this book, your debut book. So tell us about yeah. it. So uh, the book tells the story of my journey. You know, I, when I arrived on the scene 40 years ago, Opportunity Village was this tiny little organization, and I, I, I ha had a child with Down syndrome. Oh. And so started to look to his future and um, took Opportunity Village and built it into mm. the amazing organization it is. And then the story really is more about um, having a child with a disability who at first I didn't want. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, this child is born and you're told he's not going to live very long and, and mm -hmm. it's a shock. Uh, to, uh, and I was a dancer in, in Canada at the time and I married a, an, a, an entertainer. We lived here in Las Vegas and uh, went on a plane back to Toronto, went into labor on the plane and Chris was born in Toronto. So that took me on an 18 year journey to get him oh, legal picture. in the United States. So if you have a child born with a disability, mm. it doesn't matter if you are an American citizen, if you have a child born with a disability in another country, you may not be able to get that child into this country. Mm. So, mm. so the story is those 18 years of you know, struggles to get him legal. And while I was building Opportunity Village, mm -hmm. I was harboring this illegal alien who happened to be my oh son my in my home. Oh. So it's wow. an interesting yeah. story, overcoming adversity, and not taking no for an answer, and um, a lot more because there's fundraising <laughs> tips. You know how yeah. how to how to uh, raise a lot of money, and I raised a half a billion dollars here. Kudos in this to town. you! Yeah. What Thank an you. amazing accomplishment, and it seems like it was a, a, a heart-led, um, you know, endeavor. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's, it's just incredible. Uh, on the title of the book, Linda, it says it goes from unwanted to wanted and I, I commend you even for recognizing I have a, a nephew with Down syndrome oh, okay. that that in the beginning uh, and maybe uh, longer than that there sometimes it's difficult it is hard to embrace that you this is your new reality mm -hmm. that you are the parent of a Down syndrome child uh, but the book title goes to wanted right so uh, uh, talk yeah. to us about your bond with Chris well, I think there's also that, that stigma and the, the misinformation, particularly we're talking 40 years ago. I mm. mean, uh, the laws back there that were so discriminatory just in the immigration part of it. But, you know, people averted their eyes. Doctors would tell you to put your child in an institution. I mean, that's what I was told when Chris was born. Um, you have this, I always remember the doctor at the end of the bed. Your child is severely and profoundly disabled. Um, is uh, has you know all these conditions has Down syndrome uh, medical issues but the good news is he's not going to live very long oh, yeah. okay. and, and that's right at hello yeah and so you have these mm -hmm. experts telling you and you know nothing in Dr. Spock at the time the mm -hmm. books that were available sure. told you about how to deal with a child born with a disability and you almost feel like that's the thing that you're supposed to do is just let him die and then the the doctor said that uh, nothing wrong with you, so these things are just a fluke, check your chromosomes, mm -hmm. forget about this one and go have another. Right. Mm -hmm. So, well, <laughs> you know, we, in every era and every time period, people were th doing their best mm -hmm. in, in that mm -hmm. time. And mm -hmm. so things have changed and, yeah. and, and, that, and that's okay. Yeah. yeah. We only have about a minute left, so I wanna make sure we get this out there. The proceeds from the book actually go to the yeah. foundation. Yes. And in addition to that, there's a special event that you're going to be doing. So my inspiration, Christopher passed away, just he waited till the book launch mm. and, and he passed away. And there's a celebration of his life tomorrow, Wednesday, at 5.30 at Mosaic Church. All proceeds from the book, and the book is $14.99 for the soft cover and $24.99 for the hard cover, and all proceeds go to the Christopher Smith mm. Foundation, which I created in Christopher's yes. honor. And, and by the way, yeah. um, the books are available at lindaslife.com and at all online retailers, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, so 
Well, we appreciate Bye, you coming in, sharing <laughs> the story. Thank you. Because you've seen the work that she's done with Opportunity Village and now being able to share her story, her journey through her life with her son and everything with this. So thank you so much for thank coming in. Thank you for in. having yeah. me. I appreciate it. Thank you thank for you. being an extraordinary mother to Chris. Thank you. Thanks yeah, so much. Absolutely. Unwanted, how a mother learned to turn shame, grief, and fear into purpose, passion, and empowerment is available now. The book can be found at lindaslife.com and proceeds, like we mentioned, benefit the Christopher Smith Foundation. You can also find Linda's book all online. That's right. And remember, the celebration of life for Christopher Smith takes place tomorrow at 530 at Mosaic Church in Henderson.